Hi, this is a Bob from Road Trekking, and today I'm going to show you the bamboo shower floor mat that I made for our road trek. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. It uses a couple of pre-made bamboo mats, and uh, I just sawed it out and put a little teak oil on it, and away we go. It looks good. Um, it's going to keep my feet drier in the shower floor, and it makes the floor stiffer and stronger. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the uh, the stock, as you can see down here, the stock... Uh, shower bathroom floor it's just a plastic molded insert and uh, if you don't park perfectly it sometimes gets a little water in it so what i've done is i've made this bamboo floor that just drops in and it's an inch thick i didn't want it too thick because i'm tall and it's real easy to lift in and out for cleaning and uh, i'll pull it out here in a second and we'll get some close-up video of how i built it and i'll show you So here's my mat out of the van, and uh, I'm going to put links down in the description of this video to the mat and to the uh, the metal uh, tie pieces that I use. So check in the video description, just click more down below, and it'll be there. So anyway, okay, so here's the mat. Um, basically, this is one of the mat panels, and it was held together with a hinge, and there's a second mat panel there. So you can see on this one, it's the full size panel with, I just radius this corner here and a little bit of a angle there. And that took care of the first piece. Uh, the second piece is still the same size, but it's got the bite out of it for the uh, step that's in the shower pan. This piece right here, of course, is highly chopped up, um, but you can see pretty straightforward. And then this last piece is also completely chopped up. Now, I actually changed the direction or ran, used the piece running this direction because I, I was worried it wouldn't be strong enough this way. If I was going to do another one, I probably would run it that way. But you can't see this anyway. It's behind the, the toilet. And this area right here is where the drain is. So uh, as you saw, it just drops in there pretty easy and, and, uh, fits right in. So, backside. Let's take a look here. Now, the original mat was held together with hinges, and it folded in half. So, I removed the hinges, and it had these plastic feet. Let's see this little foot here uh, that were all over the place. Now, I removed all the hinges and the plastic feet, I decided not to use the plastic feet and the hinges because, again, I'm really tall and wanted as thin as possible. So this is about an inch thick. It didn't raise me up too much. So, okay, so here we go. First piece, again, radius the corner, chop this off. Pretty simple. This one here took the big bite out of it. Now, what happens, you take the big bite out of it, now you've got these pieces sticking out, just kind of flopping around. So then I used some of the excess little bamboo parts and just cut some pieces that fit in here, epoxied them in, and then recut the curve when I was done. I made a cardboard template of the whole area and just taped together old Amazon boxes and made a good template, and, and that was pretty easy. So glued those in, cut it, pretty simple. This one here, again, a lot more cutting, but same thing. I just cut it. You can see I glued a piece here. I glued a piece here and here. Uh, and then one of these thicker pieces here at the end, um, just to keep those pieces from flopping. And then this one, same thing. Cut some little pieces and just epoxied them in. Once it was done, I used a belt sander to just kind of clean everything up. And then I used... Uh, I just hand sanded it basically until it was smooth. And then to finish it off on these pieces, I used Watco uh, teak oil. I just brushed on a coat, let it dry for about 20 minutes, rubbed it off, brushed on another coat, it soaks in. The, the edge is literally, you can't tell from the original finish. And the neat thing about teak oil is every once in a while, especially with bamboo, you just rub some teak oil on it, wipe it off and good as new. Now, these little metal tie plates are from Lowe's. They're Reliabilt um, mending braces, and these are 
uh, one and a half by 1.42 inches. I'll put a link again in the description. And I used half inch number six stainless steel screws to screw them down. Now, because I didn't want to put the feet on it, I used my Dremel tool to router in a pocket so that those are below the surface. So everything will just sit right down on the floor. And the road track, the, the floor has a nice molded in drain all the way around the side edge. So draining should not be a problem. And these made it nice and solid. As you can see, it, it was very easy to drop in and out. It's easy for me to lift it off and um, rinse it out. So, um, so that was basically how I did it. I used my bandsaw and a belt sander. Uh, you could probably use a jigsaw just fine. Um, it really wasn't all that hard. I just spent a lot of time sanding to get a nice edge. These little, like right here, I had to sand it down because I didn't want any sharp points on my, my nice feet. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it, it turned out really well and, and it was a pretty easy and fun project. I think it looks great when it's in there. So again, links down below in the description. Hey, you know, give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, it helps other people find it. Uh, you saw that this channel is called Road Trekking. Um, I wasn't actually planning on doing this video. We're we're working on some on some nicely edited videos to show places we're going and show off our van and modifications and all that. But I did want to get this out, so I will have more videos coming on things we've done and places we go, and and hopefully you'll want to subscribe and follow along. After this video ends, the the part where I'm talking. The video will keep going and I'll have still pictures and I'll leave each one up for about 10 or 15 seconds so you can, you know, look at a still picture if you want to study it a little bit better. But there you go. Bamboo uh, shower floor mat for a road track. We happen to have a 2023 Chase, but the Chase, the Zion, the Play all use the exact same uh, shower stall. So should uh, be easy to do on yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.